Hello, good day viewers. Throughout in this month, I will be solving problems that are related to math puzzles and word problems. This is only because math puzzles attract people's minds even if they hate mathematics. While word problems is more of like real life applied mathematics. So I have sorted a word problem here in NACO 2021 under objectives, which is question number seven. It reads, the cost of a motorbike is 110,000 Naira. If the value depreciates by 10% yearly, what will be its value at the beginning of the following year? So now let us understand this question before we start solving. Let me read it all over again. The cost of a motorbike is 110,000 Naira. You know we are now in 2021. This means that if we refer to the current year, it means that currently it is 110,000 Naira. But it keeps on reducing, that is depreciate. It depreciates by 10%. So every year, the cost reduces by 10%. So we ask to find the cost of this motorbike in the following year. That is next year, single year. So now, let me use two different ways to solve this same problem, starting with the traditional way. All right, let us keep our data. Let's start with the cost. The cost is 110,000 Naira. Differentiates by 10% yearly, so every year. Cost next year is what we are looking for. So first of all, let me find 10% of this amount. Whatever we obtain, we subtract it out of the main amount, that is the cost, principal amount. Whatever is left is the cost next year. So 10% can be written as 10 divided by 100. Of its multiplication, the main amount is 110,000 Naira. This zero will take care of this zero. This zero will take care of this other zero. And you can see the 10% is um, 11,000 Naira. So 11,000 Naira is the 10% of this amount. So amount next year, Amount in the coming year will be equal to the total amount or, or the principal amount minus the amount we of 10, which is 11,000. And this minus this will give us 99,000. This is equal to 99,000. Let me see from the option. From the option, we have it as option C. 99,000 will be the amount next year. So now let us look on to more straightforward method. Remember in our previous lesson, we have talked about percentage decrease and percentage increase. This is just a percentage decrease. You know that every amount in its original form is 100%. But we want to reduce this amount by 10%. This means that 100% minus 10% of the total amount. Straightforward. So we're going to obtain the next year's amount. It is as simple as saying the 100%, which is this amount, minus 10% of this total amount, 110,000. 100 minus 10 is 90. It is in percentage, so we have 90%. 90 divided by 100 off is multiplication. And we have uh, 110,000. This zero will take care of this zero. This other zero will take care of this. What we have is just nine multiplied by 110 
zero zero that is eleven thousand nine times eleven thousand is equal to ninety nine thousand you see straightforward this is the amount next year in the coming year and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos